Should we make a tier list chat? Should we make a tier list for the game right now? Yo, we need more chill music though. What the hell is this shit, man? All right. I think for this is for PVP. Can I can I change the name? Can I change the name here? Where's disc? Disc priest S tier. Where's hunter? Hunter S tier. Warlock S tier. Uh, let's do rogue A tier. Mm -mm. Let's see here. Um, uh, maybe druid as well. Feral druid. I would put probably here as well. This is for PvP. Yeah, this is for PvP. Uh, where would I put... Mm -mm. Red Paladin. I think I would put them also, honestly, up here. Or actually, would I put Prot up there? I would put Red on A tier. And I think I would put, actually put Prot Pali on S tier. I feel like Prot Pali is like Sleeper OP. What do you guys think? Where is Protpally on, on this thing? I can't see it. Does Protpally even have an icon here? Mm, I think Enhanced Shaman probably belongs up here as well. Uh, I, I haven't seen Enhanced Shaman actually in PvP. I think I would put probably LA Shaman in B. Yeah, LA Shaman would go to B. We already know where warriors are going, guys. Warriors are going down here. All warrior specs are just down here, chilling hard. I'm gonna say Frost Mage is also down here, chilling Omega hard, doing zero DPS. Uh, I would put Fire Mage maybe here somewhere. Probably put Fire Mage maybe in C. And then I put Arcane also in C. This is Healer Arcane. I put, I put, I put them both there. Uh, Rogue. I mean, it's, it, it, I mean, it's the same. Like this is vanilla, right? So it's like, your talents don't really matter that much. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to move Fire Mage down here. I feel like Fire Mage is a solid D tier. Affliction Warlock actually gets played. I would probably put it. Where would I put Affliction Warlock? Maybe A tier. I think A tier. Shadow Priest, definitely down here. Holy Paladin. How good is a Holy Paladin right now? Probably, probably B tier. Shaman. I don't think I've seen a single Resto Shaman, honestly. I think they're just down here. With Fire Mage just chilling. Yeah, I feel like Holy Paladin is actually pretty good. They just have long casts right now. So I, I think that's what's holding them back. What is this, Boomkin icon? I don't think I've seen a single Boomkin. Probably down here, even in E tier. Mm, what else do we have? Enhance. I'll probably say Enhance is down here as well. Destro Warlock. I have not even seen a single Destro Warlock there. They're definitely... They might be... Actually, they might be here. Yeah, I think this is my tier list. Let me see here. What are we missing? Is this a hunter spec? What is that? Is this BM hunter or something? This is survival hunter and this is BM hunter. The thing is this this tier list maker is for retail. I mean BM BM this is BM hunter, but I guess I'll I just use this icon because it's more obvious, but I'll just remove it and this is the BM hunter icon, I guess. I'll put that there instead. That's marksman hunter. Yeah. Well, where do we put marksman hunter then? We put marksman hunter in B tier. Survival hunter, you can put it here in B tier as well. And then this is like retail specs that no one plays. Resto Druid. I don't think Resto Druid is real, dude. Resto Druid goes down there in the bottom. And Subrog. I can put Subrog here. Put Subrog somewhere around here. Pretty B tier angle. Let me see here. Let me see. Holy Priest. I've never seen a single Holy Priest. I don't think it matters much what spec you go anyway. Like you have Powered Shield, you have Penance. Like who cares if you're Holy or Disc or whatever. You're still going to be useful with that. So. Uh, I don't even think this matters, really. The runes is what matters, for sure, for your class. Like, your actual talents don't matter that much. Ru runes is what matters the most. And what spell ranks you get at level 25. So, 
Uh, to break it down a little bit, Disc Priest, BM Hunter, Demo Lock, the three best classes in the game. Then, pretty close, but like not like super close. I would say Rogue, like uh, uh, Asa, and um, Combat, Feral Druid. Uh, I don't feel like Feral Druid is that good, to be honest. Maybe we move Feral Druid down a notch here, actually. I feel like we move Feral Druid down a notch, honestly. I feel like Feral Druid, all they do is just press Sunfire and run. Like, it's, it seems lame. This is for PvP. This is for PvP. Red Paladins. Honestly, Red Paladins might even go up here. Yeah, no, I think I, think I like this more. Yeah, I, I I don't know actually. I feel like Feral is not. I feel like Feral is overhyped. Like people watch Soda Pop and they're like, "Oh my God, Feral is so broken." And it's like he's beating up like people who are literally without keybinds. You know, the worst players in the game with no gear, and he has like full fucking Mastercard spec. Um, now I'm gonna keep Feral down here. So best class in the game: Disc Priest, Hunter, BM Hunter with the Scorpion, Demo Warlock. And I would say Red Paladin as well belongs up here. Then I would say the other rogue specs, like rogues in general here, Affliction Warlock. Then in B tier, we got LA Shaman, Holy Paladin. Uh, we got the random hunter specs. Honestly, these, the, hunt, the hunter specs don't even matter because as long as you have the Scorpion and you have the, you know, the BM runes, like it doesn't even matter. But yeah, we just put them here for fun. Uh, sub rogue, uh, I guess if you want to play like imp ambush spec, I would put it down here and then I would put feral druid down here I think feral druids are slightly overrated People might want to say that they belong in a tier, but I don't think feral druids belong in a tier I think feral druids be belong in b tier. They go oom instantly and All they do is just press a, a little dot and like run around so I, I really don't think feral druids are that good I think rogues shit on them. I think reds shit on them I think a lot of things can shit on even a mage can shit on a feral and mage doesn't shit on anything then over here in C tier, we have the best mage spec, which is mage healer. And again, this is for PvP. So I would say mage, arcane mage healer. Uh, it's not that bad, honestly, if you play arcane mage healer, as long as you don't get targeted, because all your heals are nerfed on yourself. So you don't heal shit. Arcane explosion heals for like four or five on yourself, but on other people, it heals for 10 for each person you hit. So it's not too bad on other people, but on yourself, it's horrible. Arcane Missiles, you know, if you do a tick of Arcane Missiles, it heals your teammates for like 40, and it does good damage, but it heals yourself for like 20. So, you know, you don't really, really out heal anything. So as long as you get to stay back and just PVE with like Arcane Blast and Arcane Missiles and stuff like that, you can do good damage and you can heal people pretty good. So I'm gonna put it in C, and that's for BGs. In one versus one, it's awful. Uh, then, we have Fire Mage, which I think if you're playing a pure DPS mage, like you don't want to have any healing talents, you just want to do damage, you want to play BGs, or you want to play 1v1, whatever. This is your best option. Sadly, this is your best option. Um, and uh, I think with these talents, uh, I've tried every single talent and I've tried Fire, Arcane, Frost. This is the best talents. Like, just copy this. If you want to play Fire Mage, pure DPS and BGs, this is what you play. You play with Living Bomb. You play with um, the crit, extra crit, like Burnout, I think it's called, on your chest. And then you play with Living Flame on your pants. And then you play this talent right here. You don't spec Pyro. It takes 80 years to cast it, and it does the same damage almost as Fireball. Uh, you can open with like a sheep fireball if you want, but most most of the time all you do is just living bomb and fire blast and run And, and just dot everything with living bomb uh, And occasionally you send a living flame on something and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you do um, And you can spam some scorches as well for 50 damage if you want um, Then you got resto shaman haven't really seen much resto shaman Then you got enhanced shaman I feel like enhanced, like tank enhanced shaman. Actually, we could move that up to be up here with arcane mage. It's not bad, but it's mostly a PVE spec, I feel like. Uh, Eli shaman is uh, a little bit better, I think, because you can get the big meatballs. Then you got destro lock. Honestly, I just put destro lock here for fun. I have not really seen many destro locks. Um, so actually, I feel like destro lock is kind of like kind of sleeper right now, but I don't think they're very good. And then down here, we have the worst specs in the entire game world ladies and gentlemen of course all warrior specs belong down here 
worse they don't have char uh, they don't have intercept they don't have anything so warriors they're just it's just a bad time if you're a warrior the only time warrior can be good is if you group up with like a paladin or a priest like something who can just hold down the spell on you so you can actually reach people and then you have a feral druid with you and you have good gear from like the raid if you have a feral druid who gives you wind fury and you have like another you know like two maybe even two healers with the spell who can just hold down the spell then warrior can be kind of good but on your own you are worthless you are trash you are a waste of space in a bg team then we got frost mage the same thing goes for frost mage the only thing you can do as frost mage is slow people and press sheep that is all forget about doing damage forget about doing any being useful forget about killing anything you cannot do anything as a frost mage frostbolt hits for 60 damage frostbolt is worthless you don't have shatter you don't crit anything your ice lands crits for like 110 if you go with the shit spec for frost mage where you go for uh, four points in um uh, ice shard so you get extra crit damage your ice lands crits for 140 or 150 but it doesn't even matter because you don't have a shatter combo and i've even tried this you go with ice lands you go with Frostbolt, uh, and you Frostbolt Icelands and Nova Target. You put one point in Shatter, because that's all you can get at level 25. And you play with the Burnout, and you have like 5% baseline crit. It puts you around 30% crit. Even if you do that, and you double crit, this is the highest burst you can do as a Frost Mage. Your Frostbolt hits for about 100 crit, and about 60 non-crit. And your Icelands crit about 150 uh if you get the double crit you get the max 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 burst which is the same as the hunter's pet scorpion ticking two times with their dots so frost is complete trash the only thing that's good about frost is you have good slows you can just rank one frostbolt stuff and sheep that's all you do you're a support class if you're gonna play frost honestly you should play frost with uh healing runes and just like sheep and slow things and just like do some off healing like that's all you're good for shadow priest you go out of mana in two spells it's garbage moonkin haven't seen a single moonkin i'm pretty sure a feral druid with sunfire is just a better moonkin than an actual moonkin and rest of druid i saw one of them but i wasn't impressed so yeah this is where i'm landing on uh the wow tier list uh, the wow specs for season of discovery as of right now there's going to be changes uh to the game you know uh, and this is after they nerfed the scorpion pet by the way uh because a lot of people i see you guys are talking about um uh i see a lot of you guys talk about druid oh sorry uh talk about the the pet being nerfed uh the pet got nerfed and then it got uh they got kind of unnerfed it so it's like a little bit nerfed and they said they're gonna nerf it more so maybe hunters will fall down a bit but as of right now uh hunters are busted um uh, yours flag carry druid on the list druid is trash i don't even think druid is a good flag carry um you, you, you don't have like what's good about druid flag carry you don't even have travel form like druid is literally i think a, a demo log is just a better flag carry even than a druid um so yeah I, I don't see anything good about druid honestly maybe shaman even is better uh yeah uh cat speed you, you can shift twice and then you're oom, um, dude. Uh, like, nah. I, I think Druid is extremely overhyped. Like, sadly, at level 25, I don't think they're that good. On the next, so on the next uh, phase, I think Frost Mage, for example, will go from here to probably like up here, A or S for sure. Uh, because you get, you know, Shatter, you get Ice Shards, you get Piercing Ice, you get Arctic Reach, you get, sh you know, like, uh, uh, so much stuff from your talents. Um, and that's gonna make Ice Lands way better, you know? Uh, you get Ice Barrier as well, you know? You just get way more stuff. Like, at level 40, Frost Mage is gonna skyrocket. Uh, and I think the same thing for a lot of other things. Like Druid as well, you get Travel Form, you get, you know... I think you get Dire Bear Form as well. I don't think they have that right now. Uh, so they just get deleted um so yeah i think i think things are gonna change for sure but yeah for the first phase i think this is where we are at what do you guys think about that what do you guys think about this uh list you guys think i'm um, clueless or you, you guys are kind of agree with it